The seven heavenly virtues, humility, charity, chastity, gratitude, temperance, patience, and diligence. And today in The Sims 4, we're gonna randomly pick three of those and we're gonna build tiny homes inspired by that virtue. We already did a build video for the seven deadly sins on this channel and I also did a create a sim video for the seven deadly sims, uh, seven deadly sins. But you know, the holidays are coming. Tis the season to be good or whatever. And this video is sponsored by Casetify, the world's most popular tech accessory brand known for their protective phone cases and world collaboration. These are some of the cases they sent me. I love the design on this one. They put my name on this one and I have some really cute clear custom ones here as well. They offer the best solution for everyday phone protection with 20% more protection and four times military standards. They've test dropped their products 104 times with an 8.2 foot drop. You've probably seen other creators just dropping or throwing their phones to test out case to five phone cases so of course we gotta try it too so here's my phone now totally fine a little scratch is going on on there so i really hope that this works so we're gonna drop the phone from a decent height and she's good, look at that, Case Defy. They've worked with over 300 artists around the world and in turn developed a very culturally diverse community. Not only are their cases adorable, but they also prioritize sustainability. With 51,000 cases recycled, their phone cases are 65% recycled, which puts out 20% less carbon emissions. Case Defy also has cute and functional accessories such as phone straps and phone charms, so you can really customize your phone. So to get your own Case Defy products, you can click that link in the description, go to Case Casetify.com slash SidMac to get 15% off your order. And thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So I have already done the terrain and a little bit of the landscaping on this lot for this challenge. The one feature I really wanted to show you guys on this build was this bridge. It was actually pretty easy to do it. I just built two rooms right here, like you can see the walls right there, and added flooring on the top, added a fence around the flooring, and added some stairs over here with some roof pieces, and I got myself a bridge. We've got a spot for fishing in there. I also added a chess table up top here, so already a couple things to do. And we're building in Brindleton Bay on the museum lot in the winter. I felt like it was fitting. So we're gonna be able to fit three of them. We'll have one to the left here and two over on this side. So we have all the virtues onto this wheel here. We're gonna randomly spin for our first one. So let's go ahead for the first tiny home. We are gonna get humility. So humility as a virtue is the opposite of pride. It involves being honest with yourself about strengths and weaknesses, being modest and humble overall. So looking at our lot here, I don't wanna give them the island over there cause that might give off the vibe that they're are thinking they're better than everyone else. They're gonna have the smallest tiny home. It's gonna be located over here. And how we're gonna spin this, let's build a tiny home for a celebrity sim. But the celebrity is going to be really down to earth. Maybe they grew up here and love it so much they never left. They had the opportunity to move to Del Sol Valley, but they gave it up to live in their cute little village. So like I said, just a small little shell we're gonna work on here. I'm gonna bring out the patio to the front a little bit. And in the Deadly Sins video, we were trying to do a lot of darker colors, more more bright and like bold colors. Today we're gonna see a lot more muted tones. They're really gonna try and like fit that innocence vibe. I also found it was a little bit more difficult to find information on the virtues as opposed to the deadly sins. People are definitely more interested in the sinner's life. So for the color scheme for this house, because humility is the opposite of pride and the color for the pride sin is purple, we're gonna do purple, but like a pastel version. We're gonna put some Strangerville spandrels on here. Anything like angelic that I can find, we're gonna use today. Don't ask me how windows can be angelic, okay? They just can. We're gonna assume that this sim has a ton of money, but the things that we're buying are like on the cheaper end. Even though we're gonna assume they have money, they're not spending it. They're not into showing off. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cute on there from Cats and Dogs. I might add like a chimney on the other side. We're gonna add a small lamp there, and in terms of the outside of the house, I think all I'm gonna do really is do a little bit of landscaping. Again, trying to keep with that wintry theme, so I'm using a lot of these pine trees. I'll probably use bushes that aren't like <laughs> like that. I have been putting pathways on here but because of the snow you can't see it. So what I've been doing to make sure that it looks like there's a path there is going in with these. Literally just some rocks and I've been carving out my own pathway so I'll just like bring that this way for now. Just like rotating them so it doesn't look so much like a pattern. We can even shrink some of them. Cute. Okay I think we're gonna go inside.
inside. And on the inside, like I said, I want it to be cozy in here. I do want to have an area set up for them to practice their like acting skill or whatever kind of celebrity they are. We're going to need an area for that. So I'm thinking this is going to be one of those fully open concept builds other than the bathroom. And I want to see if I can find some pastel purple items that we can use. Ooh, we could play around with the pastel pop kit. Actually, that looks cute as an accent wall too. Maybe we'll do that in there as the bathroom. And I'm trying to avoid this being too flashy. So maybe we'll go in with like a pink wall instead. But I do want to use that freaking pastel pop wallpaper at some point today. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to get the essentials. We're going to get them a bed. I have my purple color filter on just to kind of see my options. But again, I want it to be something cheap. So for my bed, I'm going to use that one there from City Living. That's a used futon. It's only like 290 simoleons. We're not going to put a whole lot of mirrors in this build either because the sim isn't about looking at themselves. For our appliances, we could probably go with like a cheap fridge over to this side. We'll pair it with some white counters here. We'll do a cheap trash can over in the corner there. And maybe to make use of this space, we'll do a dining table at the end of the bed. And we can try and angle the TV like towards the bed. So we'll just raise up this one, this cheap one from Eco Lifestyle, and we're going to turn it like this way. Just putting up some cute, cheap decor, some pictures, maybe a couple hanging plants here. And I still need a skill item that can act as like their celebrity item. Maybe we could do a cheap microphone just like in the corner somewhere. Honestly, we could probably put it right there. So even though it looks a little bit squishy over there, everything is going to be functional. The TV will be fine. Dining table, the bed, they can still get back there. And the microphone, which is actually pretty impressive. We ended up with a little more space in here than I thought we would. So I just added a little bit of kitchen clutter in here. Everything is on the wall. So your sim will still be able to prep in that corner. And for our bathroom, this bathroom is so tiny. I hope we can get bigger ones in some of the other houses. But with tiny homes, this is always the best way to go. So again, just going to do some cheap plumbing stuff in here. This is going to be the only mirror in the house. So maybe we can go with a funky one. So very basic in here, just the essentials really. And I put a picture over here on the wall. We could also put like a dine out plant in here just to add a little something. We're going to put a bookshelf up here so your sims can still learn if they want to. So the final thing I'm doing for this build is working on a gallery wall. I just had to delete some walls to open it up so I could do this. I actually think this turned out really cute. I love that gallery wall over there. I love that we have such a confined space, but we still have things for this sim to do in here. Oh, the final thing I wanted to do was get some gold bars. Because we said this is going to be the richest sim on the block, but they don't show it. We're going to put these under the bed, but not in the way like they're trying to hoard it. Like they just have so much money. They have nowhere to put it. This is more like they're super rich, but they don't want anyone to see it. Okay, so there is our first virtue tiny home in The Sims 4. All right, we are ready to move on to the next one. Let's go back to that wheel. Let's go ahead and spin and see what we're going to get for the next tiny home. We get patience. So patience is the opposite of wrath. It's the ability to endure difficult experiences, tolerate irritability without responding in anger, and the stable perseverance through stressful or annoying times. I've also seen this one described as forgiveness instead of patience, referring to the ability to overcome the impact of offense from another person. But either way, this sim is going to be calm as I guess for this one, it doesn't really matter where we put it. We could just continue along with this side and finish it off. So since patience is the opposite of wrath, wrath is the color red. I was thinking maybe we could do pink as like the pale version of red for this. These are going to get nice and squishy. There's not a whole lot of room to work around for this. I don't really want to add a roofing piece over there. So I'm going to go in with a half wall and we can add a chimney. So I've just gone in and added another side bump out just so we get the most out of this build here. I'm going to continue my pathway along this way just to bring it all together. I might even bring out this terrain slightly just so that I can bring the rocks over. Okay, so we said pink for the exterior. What would this look like here from my wedding stories? There's also this one we could do from Eco Lifestyle. I'm going to continue on with the rest of it and see from there. Like we'll add the windows and doors and maybe have a better decision. I'm trying to think of how the heck we're going to convey this in a Sims 4 home. Maybe what we can say about this Sim is they came from a really rough past. They used to have anger issues, but then they learned some coping mechanisms that we can put into the house to like try and stop the anger from emerging. So I've been using these combinations here from Discover University, just kind of like playing around with some different ones. Something about building in the winter in The Sims just feels so magical. Not to mention the fact that I don't have to worry about like terrain paint and stuff. So if you download this in the summertime, it is probably going to look a lot different than <laughs> what it looks like right now. I love adding like roofing details onto my tiny homes. I feel like it makes it look so much bigger. Even though we're not intending on making this a two-story home, it kind of makes it look like it. So this is going to be the landscaping that we're going to go with for this house. This is what it looks like on the outside. In the back, I tried to add some details on here to make it look more fancy. This can be our really nice but fancy sim. And let's go inside. Those two houses look so cute. 
cute up there. I can't wait to finish this. So let's get the flooring and everything first in here. I do know that I want to include a punching bag. So maybe this can be like a fitness sim. Maybe we can really lean into like the heavenly aspect of this build. Like I'll add these right at the front door. We can use this pretty chandelier. What do we have for pink wallpaper? I don't want to add too many patterns in here because this house is going to be the one that's going to be like zen. Although that looks really pretty. Okay, maybe we're going to have one accent wall at the birds. That's pretty peaceful and heavenly. Maybe our bathroom can be over there, but we'll still keep everything open concept. We still need to be pretty conscious about our space here. The biggest one is going to be across the river. So we'll get our door there and we're going to dim the lights quite a bit in here. I want to light this place up with candles. I think I'm going to do my kitchen right over here when you walk in. We'll just get everything we need over there, all the essentials. And then I want to go in and add things like the spa day incense. So maybe I can put that like on the corner of the counter there. Maybe we'll add a few of them. That actually looks really cute like that. We'll also add this one maybe on top of the fridge. So, so far that area over there is looking cute. I think we could do this bed here from high school years. Definitely got that angelic look going on. I pulled this house back just by like one tile. So we have a little more room on the inside just because I know the punching bag itself takes up so much room. Since I have a little more room over here now, I'm going to add a coffee maker because coffee keeps me calm. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to add some of the newer clutter pieces over here from the new kit. A mirror right there with the heart. We're just all for love. For the end table over there, we're going to put a stereo on it and that's going to be so that they could listen to music if they were feeling like angry. Those curtains there are from Vintage Glamour and then over here is where we're going to do the punching bag. We're going to do some mirrors behind there for the punching bag and then I do want to get a meditation pillow because I know that that can also help you feel like calm. Meditating is good for the mind. So maybe we'll put a couple of them like at the end of the bed here. I'm going to put this dresser over there from high school years. Is that actually a slot? Like can I put? <gasps> I did not know that. I didn't know you could put something in there. Okay wait. Maybe in there we can put a little doll that they like punch if they get mad. I don't want to sacrifice this penguin, but I think we're going to sacrifice the penguin. Why is this a slot down here? That's so cute. How did I not know this? Maybe we can put some pillows under there for the same reason. Literally like if they need to punch something, they can either punch that or these. Okay. So, so far this is what our patient's house is looking like. We still have to do the bathroom on the other side, but for the most part, I think this room is complete over here. So going over here, I wanted to make sure we had extra room for a good shower because I know showering can change your Sims moodlets quite a bit. So if they're in a bad mood, hopefully they can just come in here and take a nice high quality shower. So we're going to have our toilet on that side. We're going to do a mirror over here and maybe I can raise up a candle and put it like on the sink edge. So just a little candle there since it's the Sims, we don't have to worry about that falling anywhere. We'll do a couple towels in here, maybe like a plant or something somewhere. And maybe we'll add a speaker in here too, again, just for that Zen aspect. They're in the shower. They want to listen to something. The option is there. So there we go. There is is our patient's bathroom and our patient's house overall. This one turned out cute. I'm excited to see what the next one is going to be. We're going to have a little bit of a bigger house to work with this time. So we can move on finally to the one on the island. I wonder which one this is going to be. Okay, so spinning for the final tiny home, we are going to do charity. So charity is the opposite of greed. It can also be known as kindness, compassion, friendship, and sympathy without prejudice. It can also be the act of giving beyond your means. It's kind of like the love thy neighbor idea, which is ironic because we are the furthest away from said neighbors. Love ya, but uh, love ya from over here. So this home is going to get the island. <laughs> this is so funny that they're far away, but it actually can be perfect because we could do some kind of market like outside their house. So I'm going to get the basis of this shell going this way. I'm going to try and leave room so that over here we could do something. It would actually be really cute because there's some stray dogs that live around here. In Brindleton Bay, there's like a whole bunch of strays that'll just like show up on your lot and stuff. So what if we like left food out for them? They're always filling the bowl for the dogs. They love thy animal neighbor. <laughs> By the way, this build is going to make it seem like I'm super religious or something. I'm not. Not that there's anything against that, obviously, but I just am not. So <laughs> I did go to Catholic school when I was younger, though, for like eight years. Not by choice, but I did do it. And I most certainly didn't think my knowledge from those years would translate into a Sims 4 video, but here we are. Okay, so I just want to do like a very small door leading into this place. Then on the side here, this is where I want to leave out like the pet bowls. We'll just put like a bunch of them here. This sim can just constantly be like filling these up. Maybe we can even have an automatic one in the corner.
corner there. What is the color here? So the colors for greed were yellow or gold. Maybe we could do a silver in this scenario. And I do kind of want to leave out some food here too, like some produce. Maybe we could also put some small gardening pots here so that this sim could grow things for other people to come and have. Kind of like a little shelter for people. So maybe we could do a picnic basket. People could just come and pick it up. We could put some produce on here too for like the same idea. We'll leave ingredients for people in need. Cute, so that can be our display. I haven't even done like wallpaper or anything else on this house yet. So maybe we should get going on that, but this is gonna be such a big part of this person's life. So I mean, it makes sense. Maybe we should rotate this. They're like not even facing the other houses. Okay, yeah, we need to turn this around. We can't love thy neighbor and want nothing to do with them. Okay, so I ditched the silver idea. We're still gonna go with like a pale yellow, which I guess is gonna be beige. So for my brick here, we used a cottage living beige brick. I brought the rocks around again, did a little bit of landscaping around there. And I feel like the market part of this is just so cute. Okay, let's go inside. And in here, I kind of want to focus on like a big dining room. Going off the idea that maybe this person likes to host, likes to feed people in need. This one maybe won't be as much of a colorful one like the others. So for this one, we're going to do bedroom and bathroom over here. Maybe the bathroom can be even like smaller like that. And our main focus is going to be the kitchen and a big dining table. So we're going to do cozy dining table when you first walk in. Kitchen is going to have to be over on this side. I'm loving all the wood tones in here. It's almost giving it like a cottage core vibe. It looks very inviting. We're kind of going for like a hospitality vibe. We'll put up some wooden cabinets here. Maybe we can add one of these fountains over here with the purpose of like hosting. I'm adding this get together like teapot clutter on the wall. We can raise up another plant and put it up there. Okay, so we have our dining area over here. We have this cute mirror area that I added with a bench from Outdoor Retreat. And we have our kitchen over here. Perfect for hosting. For our bedroom, I'm just gonna put like a single bed in here. This sim thought it was more important to save room for the dining area than themselves. But we're gonna carry on with the cozy factor in there too. We're gonna use that bed from high school years. Maybe we'll do some trunks in the corner here. We can put a TV on top of that. So there is our bedroom. And now all we have to do for this one is a bathroom. So in here, we do have room for a full shower again. So we're gonna use that one there from Seasons. We'll do toilet on this side and our sink right there. All right, so for our bathroom, just very basic. We've got our shower in here, our toilet. We've got a sink. Again, with the idea that this whole house would be open if someone needed to come here. You could also even go one step further and replace this bed with bunk beds with the idea that there's like an extra bed there if someone needs it. But I think we're gonna leave it at this. This has been our every tiny home is a different virtue in The Sims 4. And I would love to know which one was your favorite tiny home in this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.